Our next dryer option that I want to talk about is just a human hair dryer. Uh, we use these a lot when we travel. Um, there are many different ways to hold these. There are also clamps that you can get to put on your table that will clamp and hold this for you. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to have both hands free while you are stretch drying. So um, if you can find a way to, to use a human hair dryer and still keep both hands free, that's ideal. What um, I have taught myself to do is hold this dryer under my chin as I'm drying. So I'm gonna hold this here and I'll just demonstrate before I turn it on. And then I can just fluff dry with this under my chin. There, you can also get a dryer that vents on the side and you can use an apron to hold this for you. There um, are some um, tools that you can use to hang around your neck that the dryer will sit in as long as it vents on the side. If it vents on the back like this, um, you cannot put it on the front of you. So again, I do wanna talk about the heat on these because these are usually have a higher heating element than a dryer that was made specifically for a pet. So you always want to make sure that you're not using this too hot on the pet's skin. So I will put this down on a medium heat. I very, very rarely will use a high heat on a pet. And again, I always keep my hand in there to make sure that I'm keeping the pet safe. So I'm gonna work on this leg and I'll show you how I do that. 